Hi, so I'm doing this video just to kind of get a bit of conversation going to every other Ultimaker 2 owner. Um, Ultimaker have recently announced that they're doing an upgrade kit to make our Ultimaker 2, I have one as well, um, work as a same, got the same spec and everything as the Ultimaker 2 Plus. So you get a um, new um, fan assembly that's the head and everything is all mounted, the Olsen blocks mounted in there which gives you three nozzles that you can change over to. Um, it's got a different um, spring has been taken out of it and you've got a tube in there as well so as the filament comes through it's supposedly a bit more smoother and it'll last longer. Uh, the head's got um, sensors in there that are slightly better at measuring the temperature which supposedly keeps the flow rate better, the material rate better and as well as some other new bits and bobs the main other part of it is that the motor feed assembly is slightly different, it's now geared so it's supposed to give a better feed um, so that if essentially the filament is flowing exactly as you need it to flow depending on whatever settings you set up in your slicer software and for the model you print in. So you know you might not get the artifacts where you change um, from a circle and every time it changes layers you get these lines left behind. I don't know if you can see it from there. So it might not be able to make a little bit of difference with that. But I've worked out from the price um, with VAT, it's £480, so almost £500. And £500, you can buy another, fair enough, you might have to assemble it, but you can buy another 3D printer. So, my question on this video is would you spend the money on upgrading your printer so it prints the exact same things but possibly a little bit nicer and smoother? Only possibly, no guarantee, of course, because it's 3D printing and everything will and can go wrong. Or would you buy a second printer and then you've got two printers to print away things to play around with? Or would you stick the £500 in your back pocket and say, no thank you Ultimaker, but however I will put it forward to my next 3D printer, whenever that may be, to print bigger volumes or whatever you want to do. And, um, and save yourself some money and carry on printing the way you are. So um, please leave your comments down below. Um, let me know what your thoughts are on the uh, concept of upgrading an existing printer and if it's worth it, especially at that price. I mean, I kind of get when the Olsen block came out that that was about £100. And it, and it was okay, you know, if you do want to print fast things with big blobs of, uh, of filament coming out, then great. I guess it's great that you can have a 0.8mm nozzle. Uh, the 0.4mm does quite a good job and the 0.2mm, which are the three versions you got with the Olsen block for the Ultimaker 2, um, I guess print really fine. I got one with my printer and hand on heart I haven't even opened it out of the box, it's still there. Because I'm quite happy with the way it does things so far actually. Stick with it, it's not an issue. So, please leave your comments down below and uh, let me know. We can uh, discuss it at length. Um, I would like to say that this video was a little challenge to do a video in one take by Panorath 3D Printing, so thank you very much, and um, hopefully no edits means a better video, I don't know, comment down below as well. As usual, please like if you liked it, dislike if you didn't like it, leave a comment either way, subscribe to my channel, go check out me on um, nearly said Gadget John then, but my website is gadgetjohn.uk but go check me out on Instagram or Twitter where you can see what I get to um, day by day really so I'm always uploading pictures and uh, tweeting things but uh, thanks very much for watching my video and I uh, hope to see you soon, take care, bye!